In ancient times, around 2.4 million years ago, a special group of our ancestors lived in the savannas and forests of East Africa. They were Homo habilis, the first skilled humans who took the initial steps towards what we would become. Homo habilis was first described in 1960 based on fossil remains discovered in Olduvai Gorge, Tanzania, playing a key role in our understanding of human evolution. Olduvai Gorge is the most famous and significant site for Homo habilis fossils. Here, the first remains of this species were found. This site is crucial as it provided the first evidence of Homo habilis and its tools. Additionally, the site is rich in fossils from other animals and hominins, offering context for the ecological conditions in which Homo habilis lived. Its name, meaning Handy Man, was given due to its ability to create stone tools, representing an important evolutionary step from earlier hominins. Homo habilis existed during the Pleistocene, approximately from 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago. Fossils found across various locations in East and South Africa provide insights into the morphological and behavioral characteristics of this species. Homo habilis is considered one of the first members of the genus Homo, making it essential for studying the transition from earlier hominins like Australopithecus to later species such as Homo erectus. Homo habilis displays a mix of primitive and advanced traits that are crucial for understanding its evolutionary position. The brain size of Homo habilis ranges from 510 to 600 cubic centimeters, significantly larger than that of its predecessors, Australopithecus, whose brain volume was around 400, 500 cubic centimeters. This increase in brain volume is associated with more advanced cognitive abilities and tool-making skills. The skull of Homo habilis has a more rounded shape compared to Australopithecus, with smaller and less pronounced brow ridges. The face is also less prognathous a feature that is closer to modern humans. The teeth of Homo habilis are smaller and more delicate compared to those of Australopithecus. The molars and premolars are also smaller with thinner enamel, suggesting a dietary shift towards softer foods, possibly including more meat. Fossil remains of hands and fingers indicate that Homo habilis had longer thumbs and shorter fingers compared to Australopithecus allowing for more precise grasping and manipulation of tools. This is an important characteristic related to the making and use of stone tools. The anatomy of Homo habilis suggests a transitional phase between earlier hominins, who primarily relied on a herbivorous lifestyle, and later members of the genus Homo, who exhibited more advanced behaviors, including hunting and gathering, as well as making more complex tools. This combination of primitive and advanced traits makes Homo habilis crucial for understanding the evolutionary path that led to modern humans. Homo habilis is best known for its association with the Olduwan tool culture, named after the site in Olduvai, Tanzania, where Homo habilis fossils were first discovered alongside these tools. Olduwan tools, dating from about 2.6 to 1.7 million years ago, are considered the oldest known stone tools and provide key evidence of the technological capabilities of early human species. These skilled hands of Homo habilis were unusually adept for their time. While other animals relied solely on their teeth and claws for hunting and processing food, Homo habilis learned to use stones. Imagine a young Homo habilis sitting by a riverbank holding a stone in hand, carefully striking one stone against another until it produces a sharp edge. He creates a tool that will aid him in his daily life. Homo habilis was likely an opportunistic omnivore, using tools to gather and process a variety of foods. This included scavenging meat from carcasses, as well as plant foods such as roots, fruits, and nuts. Evidence from bone analysis indicates that Homo habilis used tools for butchering, including removing meat from bones 
and breaking bones to access nutrient-rich marrow. Their way of life was not easy. They had to face dangers lurking at every turn, from predators to harsh weather conditions. However, Homo habilis was adaptable. Their ability to make and use tools for various tasks enabled them to survive and thrive in diverse environments. Whether living in dense forests or open savannas, tools helped them in their daily lives. In the evenings, as they gathered around a fire, they likely shared experiences from the day. Although we cannot know for certain how they communicated, we can imagine they used gestures, simple vocalizations, and non-verbal signals to convey important information. Perhaps they showed each other how to create better tools or where to find the most food. Homo habilis did not live alone. They lived in small social groups, helping one another and sharing resources. This cooperation was crucial for their survival. By learning from each other, they passed down knowledge from generation to generation, laying the groundwork for future advancements in human evolution. Determining the exact number of Homo habilis individuals that lived during their existence is quite challenging, as the fossil record does not provide a complete insight into the overall population. However, they likely lived in smaller social groups, similar to other early hominins. It can be assumed that Homo habilis populations ranged in the hundreds or thousands across various regions of East and South Africa. Thus, when we look at Homo habilis, we see the first steps toward what would become Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis, and ultimately Homo sapiens. Their ability to create tools, adapt to different habitats, and cooperate socially was key to their success and survival. Homo habilis, the handyman, laid the foundations for all who came after, leaving an indelible mark on the history of human evolution. In conclusion, Homo habilis teaches us that innovation and cooperation are vital for survival. Their story inspires us to continue exploring and learning from the past to understand our future better. As we look back at the journey of Homo habilis, we see the dawn of human ingenuity and adaptability. These early ancestors, with their innovative use of tools and social cooperation, laid the foundations for the incredible advancements that followed in human evolution. From the savannas of Tanzania to the river valleys of Ethiopia, their story is a testament to the resilience and creativity of our species. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration of our ancient past. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might find it interesting. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions about Homo habilis and our evolutionary journey. Together, let's continue to uncover and celebrate the remarkable history of humanity.